The accusers include the sister-in-law and Chatfield's own brother, her husband. Aaron Chatfield says he drove his brother, the Speaker of the House, late at night here to downtown Detroit to go to a strip club and a hotel for hookups with women, including one staffer. On a scale of one to ten, how much potential trouble is he in? Well, based upon the media accounts, and that's all I really know is what I've read or seen on television in your broadcasts, I think he's up to a 10. I'm shocked. The sister-in-law is telling Bridge Magazine she's going public so that other women will speak up. She says Lee Chatfield started having sex with her when she was 15 or 16 at a private school, the Northern Michigan Christian Academy, where she was a student and Lee Chatfield was a teacher. He's seven years older than she is. Well, Michigan law makes it very clear that if a victim is under the age of 16, and in a situation where one has authority over another, like in a student-teacher situation, that's a criminal sexual conduct in the first degree, punishable by up to life in prison. Aaron Chatfield is Lee Chatfield's younger brother. He tells Bridge Magazine he was the House Speaker's driver, including late-night trips to Detroit's Legends Strip Club and Shinola Hotel for meetings with women in and out of government. I can't imagine. Um how far the ripples are going to spread as more and more facts come out. Late last week, this notice was sent to all Michigan House members, telling them to preserve any documents, files, information related to Speaker Chatfield's conduct in office or use of his office resources. Bill Ballinger has covered Michigan politics for decades. How much of this was actually known uh, by members in the chamber or other people in Lansing and papered over or hushed up or what. This Facebook page from a year ago may have been set up in a run for governor. Chatfield's theme had always been faith, family, service. Now he could be facing misconduct in office or more. If somebody is helping themselves to the, to the coffers, to the till, that potentially is an embezzlement crime, and that can be punishable by as much as 20 years in prison. This investigation may take months and include state and federal authorities. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Jim, thank